Hi everyone, welcome to this webinar on Zoho Clicks integration with Zoho Projects. Thank you for joining me today. So this webinar will focus on how the integration works, the steps to install, how it is going to help your team and of course take you through all the best practices for using it. A quick note on questions. If you have any questions then please feel free to post them in the chat window that you see on your screen. Our team will be glad to help you out. I'm Manasa from the marketing team here at Click, and I will be your host for today. Alright, so here's something really exciting. We are running a contest on Twitter for today's webinar. All you have to do is let us know your best takeaways and tag a Twitter handle which is at Zoho Click. Don't forget to use the hashtag Click Integrations. The best tweet will win something exciting. So stay tuned throughout and keep on tweeting. Now moving on to the agenda, firstly let's understand what Zoho Click is and what it offers, a sneak peek into Zoho projects as well. Next we will touch upon the importance of communication while managing a project. We will be then taking a look at what the Zoho Click integration with projects is all about. Post that a quick look at how easy it is to install and get started and a quick demo with all the best practices. So here's what Click is all about. Zoho Click is a business communication software that is built exclusively for teams. All your conversations are organized neatly well within your reach. They are structured with rules and permissions based on your organizational hierarchy. And pretty much Click is just a space where you can bring your team together. So here's how Click helps a business stay connected. Now, any business wants seamless communication to build an open work culture and simply make sure all their employees are easily reachable. With Click, anyone in the company can find and chat with their colleagues through text messages or audio and video calls. But sometimes this is always not enough. You need to discuss by looking into a common screen and collaborate over it. So screen sharing comes in. From analyzing a report, reviewing product designs, you get to collaborate easily. And with the help of channels, you can collaborate in a group on any different topic of interest. So you are basically breaking all the barriers of location and time here by connecting in real time. Now, what sets Click truly apart from all the rest of the other apps is it is built exclusively for businesses to use. So Click can reflect your organization structure easily. All your teams, designations, roles and profiles and you can pretty much make Click mirror your organization directory completely. So this way you can find anyone from your company and then send them a message and get started. So with regards to how effectively you can manage your time and all your tasks, you have reminders to follow up on tasks and of course you have the Zoho Click platform because here's the thing modern workplace is more than just communication for a truly unified experience it is super important to have a platform that helps you connect to the tools you use so before we jump right into the integration let's also take a quick overview of Zoho projects now, Zoho Projects helps you manage your projects by setting goals and keeping your milestones and expectations clear. You can track them and gain insights with gun charts. To sum up, Project is just a platform where you can manage and get perspective of your project's progress. So these are two individual softwares that are built to scale and that serve their purpose fully. So let's see how this integration fits in and how it is going to help. Now again, it is no surprise that communication is important, but very often we miss out on a lot of little updates that sure has a big impact. And this happens when communication is ineffective or there's no platform for your team to instantly get in touch. So let's see what happens with ineffective communication. Now, absence in clarity. There's absolutely no clarity on who's doing what. 
what your tasks are and who you should be reaching out to in case of any questions. And unestablished project goals and objectives are yet another concern. Your project output solely depends on what objective or goal you set. Your team should be clear on this purpose and the audience of the project that they are working for. Yet another important aspect which most of us miss out is updating the team regularly. When we are facing an issue or if there is something that is stopping us from moving ahead, sometimes we do fail to update the team and let them know that there is a roadblock. Miscalculating dependencies is a common problem that we all face so all tasks are interdependent. Sometimes it so happens that we miss out to take into account certain dependencies that might not come from people who are directly involved in the project. And switching tabs for context. So we, on an average, we end up spending time across 56 different tabs every single day. Now that is a lot. We need a platform that can help us centralize all our data. And finally, keeping our clients and stakeholders in loop with all the project updates. These are the problems that come up with ineffective communication and almost one out of five projects fail due to this. So let's see how this integration can help. You can stay connected to your project updates very easily right from your chat window. And you can collaborate with your employees who might not be directly involved in the project. You can discuss on any task or any issue that you might be working on and you can update it right from your chat interface. So here's how. So you have the projects bot that posts instant alerts of unassigned issues right where you collaborate. So your team is aware and can look into it immediately. Now the bot also acts like your personal projects assistant by bringing in notifications whenever there's an issue that you are assigned with. You can also take action on messages by turning them into a task or into an issue very quickly. Say you're discussing something and you want to act on that message and convert it into a task and assign it to a user. You can do all that and more with the help of message actions. So we'll see how that works in the demo. And finally, your project information is easily accessible with slash commands. Let's say you're working on a task with a teammate and you want to discuss about this. So you can simply use slash projects to pull up information about the task and you can share it directly on chat. So let's get started with the first step, which is installing the integration. Now there are two ways to install this integration. You can choose to install it from Zoho projects. All you have to do is go to the setup page, select Zoho apps under integrations. You will find click listed there and simply click on the try now button. This will take you to the installation page. And the other way to install this is from the Zoho click marketplace. Let's see how that is done. In your click home page, just click on your profile picture. This will open up your user panel and you can select the marketplace option from here. And once you go to the marketplace, search for Zoho projects and open up the projects listing and click on install. Here you get a prompt asking for confirmation to install this integration. So just go right ahead and simply install this. This will again take you to the integrations installation page from where you can choose to install this either for a team or for your entire organization. I'm going to install this integration for the Zilker team here. And this is how easy it is to install this integration and get started. To understand how this integration works, let's take an example, say project website revamp. Now the Zilka team uses Click for internal communication and projects to keep track of the revamp progress. On successful installation, the project's bot here posts a nice little message and prompts to take a quick tour of how it can be of help. 
And once the tour is done, I want to know how to configure this further. So I'm just going to go right ahead and ask the bot how I can configure a portal. So how can I configure a portal? The bot gets back to me with three different options. So let's start by setting up the default portal first. Now since there's only one portal here, that is taken as the default. And if you have more than one portal, then you can choose which one you would like to configure. So once the portal is all set up and configured, let's quickly move on to notifications. Once you click the notifications option, a list of projects that are available in the portal are listed and you can choose which one you would like to enable notifications for. We are currently working on the website revamp project so let me quickly enable notifications for that. And done. So now really what's the point of enabling notifications without it being posted anywhere? For that let's quickly take a look at the third option which is mapping channels. Now you have to map a channel to this project so all the notifications get posted there. So the Zilka team have created a channel to collaborate on this project. Let's see here it is and you choose your project, choose your channel and you're good to go. So that is all about how you can configure and set up this integration. Now, apart from the configure action, there are a couple of other actions listed here. Let's try to explore that. Stats will pull up your project performance with the list of tasks and issues that you're fixed and so on. And on clicking my tasks and my bugs over here, you get the list of tasks and bugs you are currently assigned with. You can update your tasks or bugs right from your chat window. Let's see how that is done. I'd like to add a comment to this particular issue for following up on it later. So I'm just going to go right ahead and click on the view more option and add my comment. So once that's done, just simply click on OK and this should add your comment and update your issue immediately. So it is easy to update your issues and tasks from your chat window in itself. And finally, the add action. The add menu option allows you to create an issue or a task from the chat window. So you can choose if you would like to add an issue or a task given all the details and just simply click submit. Alright, so that was how the project's bot and its menu actions come in handy for quick updates. Now let's see how the bot handles notifications. Now I find an issue and I want to report it but I'm quite unsure of who to assign it to. So I'm simply adding this as an unassigned issue. And I can see that the bot instantly notifies in the channel. So everyone in the project is always in loop. And if someone wants to work on this issue, they can use this option, which is the claim option to claim this issue and start working on it directly. The bot also keeps track of the team's progress with weekly insights the total number of issues everyone worked on, the total number of tasks and all the work items that are being carried over is posted right inside the channel where the team collaborates. So this makes sure that everyone is constantly updated and even the management and all the key stakeholders are in the know of what is going on. So if there is an issue that has been assigned exclusively to you, then the bot notifies you personally and almost instantly you can start working on it. Alright, so now you know your project's progress. You can keep track of your personal performance with the help of the stats option in the project's bot and also you can use the bot to keep track of your team with the help of instant notifications. Now let's see how you can convert conversations into work items. 
Say you're having a conversation with your project lead and your lead shares a list of ideas that you can work on next. Now, instead of going and manually adding them as tasks, you can convert these messages directly into work items. All you have to do is click the messages menu list and go to the create task option, give all the details, add a due date, assignee and simply click submit. This will create the task and share it directly on chat. So let's say you started working on this task and you want to discuss about this with your teammate. So to share information easily, you can use the slash projects command and choose the task which you would like to talk about, get all the details and share it directly on chat. This way you don't have to switch tabs to get project context. Now I discuss about this task with my teammate, get some perspective and add a few comments and there are a few more clarifications that I need from my project lead. So I quickly create a group chat with my project lead and my teammate right from the tasks view here in Zoho projects. Now this option will be really helpful when you would like to discuss about something that might be related only to a few project members. So you can quickly get started with an ad hoc chat, add all the relevant members and work on your tasks and resolve your issues quickly. And finally, as a project lead or a manager, you might end up spending a lot of time analyzing your project's progress and keeping track of all your updates and whatnot. So you don't have to worry about missing out on your project notifications and all your team conversations. Click is available right inside Zoho projects as a mini chat bar. So it is available at the bottom of projects, uh, at the bottom of the projects view. You can always stay updated while you're still managing your project. So that is all about the Zoho Click integration with Zoho projects. Here's a quick recap. We started with an introduction to Zoho Click and an introduction to Zoho projects as well. We spoke about why this integration is necessary and how this is going to help you. So here's what the integration has to offer. You get the projects bot which acts like your personal projects assistant which will notify you whenever there is an issue that is assigned to you and you have the projects bot notify your team whenever there is an unassigned issue that is being added. You also can convert conversations into work items with the help of message actions. You can organize all your team conversations in channels that will help you always keep in touch with everyone who is a part of the project. You can also keep track of project insights with the help of the project's bot that will notify all the project insights directly inside the channel. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please let us know if you enjoyed this webinar. Don't forget to tweet your takeaways with the hashtag click integration and the recording will be available. So for further queries, you can always drop in an email to support at zohoclick.com. You can follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at zohoclick. Thank you so much once again. Have a great day. Bye bye.